In Solo, A Star Wars Story, we meet Lando's droid co-pilot named L337. She was a self-made droid who upgraded herself throughout her life. She was one of a kind in design and in programming, although her programming would be more accurately described as sentient thought. Despite her unique nature, she shares a similar role with a droid Lando became partners with in Star Wars Legends, so today I'll cover that droid and we'll talk about the differences and similarities between the two. In the Lando Calrissian Adventures by L. Neil Smith, Lando comes to own a droid named Vuffy Ra. Although he had a form of amnesia when the two first met, Vuffy would come to understand that he was actually sort of a hybrid between droid and sentient life. His quote-unquote species was called the Silentium, and it was heavily implied that they were the reason the Yuuzhan Vong of Star Wars Legends were so fearful of technology because they shared the same galaxy. Lando won Vuffy in a game of Sabacc, and from then on the two shared in a number of adventures. Lando was a below-average pilot, so his droid friend handled most of the flying and navigation. He constantly referred to Lando as Master, which he hated. The gambler viewed the two of them as partners rather than a master and a servant. Together they revitalized the Sharu people, outwitted an assassination attempt by the sorcerer Roker Gepta, and liberated the Oswaft species who were being starved to death by the Empire. After their third adventure, more members of the Silentium appeared, having sought Vuffy Ra for some time. They confirmed that his destiny was to grow and eventually become a large starship, and so he traveled into the unknown regions with his people. However, some time later, Kyle Katarn ran into Lando and saw that he was still friendly with the droid about one year before the Battle of Yavin. Although her origin story is very different, L337 shares a number of similarities with Vuffy Ra. Most obviously, she is the co-pilot and navigator for Lando, claiming that he wouldn't be able to chart even simple jumps without her. Her attitude and their interactions in the book Last Shot make it clear that they also do not share a master and servant relationship, but they're more like equal partners. L3's mental state is also similar, that of a sentient droid, just like Vuffy Ra and the rest of the Silentium. Her quest for droid liberation somewhat mirrors Vuffy's species searching him out so that he can achieve his own potential. While his destiny was to become a starship naturally, L3 winds up having a similar fate in Solo. After being damaged beyond repair, her computer was uploaded into the Falcon's computer. So while she didn't grow into a ship like Vuffy, she did, in a sense, become integral to one. In Solo A Star Wars Story, Lando records his adventures in what he calls the Calrissian Chronicles. He recounts the very same stories that he and Vuffy Ra shared in the stories by L. Neil Smith but Vuffy has been replaced by L337. Assuming Lando isn't completely lying when he recalls those events, it would appear that L3 has taken the place of Vuffy Ra in Lando's history as his droid partner in crime. But with that, we'll end our short talk about Lando's two droid buddies from Star Wars Legends and now canon. Even though I wasn't a big fan of the old Lando Calrissian adventure books, I really did enjoy Vuffy Ra. I thought he was a very interesting and light-hearted, if not strange, concept for a character. But let me know which of the two droids you preferred. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.